This is a pretty big box. And inside this big box is the brand new Surface 604 Rook Model City Style Electric Bicycle. Boy, that was a mouthful. Hi, I'm the Gadget Guru, Andy Parr. And when I come back, of course, we're gonna unbox it. We're gonna assemble it. We're gonna see if it's easy to do, and we're gonna check out everything that's included in this box. So stay tuned, because that starts right now on the Gadget Guru. Now, if you're ordering an electric bike, or let's just call them an e-bike online, or you're having it delivered, whatever, the first thing you do, you need to be there when it's delivered, because you need to check the box. Here, I'll roll some footage of what happened when the UPS guy brought it in here. And you can see that the box, it's not perfect. There's really nothing poking it through. Around the corners are some areas where it looks like it was retaped. Now, I don't know if that was a quality control thing, or maybe when it went from China to Surface 604 in Vancouver, British Columbia, up there in Canada, if, if, if they just retaped it there. But anyway, we documented that, and that's a good thing, because I'm, I remember on my previous bike, uh, the 2018 Red Mini, when it came through, there was a hole there. It was where the forks were, there was some damage. If you save the pictures, you give it back to the manufacturer. In more cases than not, if you're buying from a reputable company, just like I did with my previous Red Mini, they'll find a way to make it right. So here's what we're gonna do. Before I even started this, I went to the Surface 604 website, and they have a fairly generic um, assembly video. When I say generic, it works for the Rook model and another model that's pretty much similar. You know, again, this is a step-through model. They have another model that is not, but it's pretty much the same bike. Uh, their step-by-step -step was pretty good. Now, granted, they used a bike rack that I didn't have to kind of hold it up or uh, some sort of bike stand. Um, the other thing that, and, and again, I, I don't want to throw a lot of criticism before I use the bike. I'm in the habit of trying to read the instruction manual before I open the box. And most companies, they have the manuals online. Uh, well, Surface 604 didn't. And while the response was really good to other emails, I'd asked them a couple of times, can you send me a PDF of the manual so I can be reading it while I'm waiting for the bike to show up. And they never got it to me. It's not on their site. So whether it's Surface 604 or others, put your manual online. Yeah, you had a pretty good assembly video, but the manual's going to give us some other details about the controls or whatever that while we're waiting for it to show up, it's just kind of fun to read. And I do advise everybody, read the manual before you get started. The reason that I purchased this bike is that, you know, I already have the 2017 Red Mini. I have the 2018, but that one went back because there were some issues that just weren't that comfortable for me. Um, and as I'm going around, I use electricbikereview.com, uh, you know, to do my research. Again, I'm not a bike expert. They are. And they had a lot of good things to say about this bike. So here's what I did. Between the electricbikereview.com website, and the Surface 604 website. You know, I said, this is a pretty cool bike. In many ways, it's somewhat similar to the new Rad City step-through bike. And you know, that one's really hard to get. You know, they have, it's almost like a lottery system. I don't want to say that, because I'm not sure how it works, but you have to go online at a certain time to press, and they sell out immediately. You know, Rad's doing very well. But I wanted to make sure that I was dealing with a company that had some sort of customer support. So I called the Surface 604 people, left a message. And, you know, a few hours go by and I didn't hear anything back. So, you know, I, I think I followed up with an email, whatever, and then they got right back to me and then they called me. They said, you know, you got to remember, we're up here in British Columbia. You're down there in Florida. There's a lot of hours in between us. We talked about this bike. They said they did have it in stock. I went on and paid for it. I want to say the price was just $1,800, so it's a few hundred dollars more than the Rad City Step Through. A lot of things are very similar. Again, we're going to find out. We're going to do some comparisons. Um, and guess what? Seven days later, it shows up on my door. Enough with that. That was long-winded. Let's get with the unboxing. Okay, based on their video, they said that a good thing to do is to open it up and lay it down flat. Now it has these kind of brass threads in here. And oops, again, there's that tape there that, let's hope there's no damage in here. We're gonna find out. But I have a camera rolling. So if there's any issue, everything is documented. Okay, it looks kind of good. It's, uh, 
in here. Oh, in the video they said, depending on, you know, what you get, she goes, the battery will either be shipped separately or it will be in the box. As you can see, it's in the box. We'll put this over here. Now, in the video they said that you need to let the battery charge up for 16 hours the first time. So, uh, let me point out, I'm in Central Florida. We have a lot of rain going through right now. Today is a good day to do the unboxing. I'm not going to be running for a couple of days. Now they suggested laying the box down and then just cutting open the box and assembling it right down here. So that's what we're going to try. Okay, and here it is. So let's go in and find what we have here. Okay, we can get rid of the styrofoam. We have a couple boxes here. Let's open these up. Let's, let me try to go over here. We can see this. Okay, in here, we have two pedals. We have two reflectors. We have the axle. I know you probably can't see these. And over here, there's this little black dot. Again, let me show you this. Don't throw this away. This is, go to, this is going to go to conceal um, a little bolt that's on the handlebars. And here is the instruction manual. Oops, put the pedals back over here. Okay, so here's the instruction manual. Just like I advise. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to go inside in the air conditioner. I'm going to read the manual, and then I'll be back. This manual seems to be written natively in English. It is not translated from Chinese uh, in, or, or published in China. This thing looks like uh, while they're out of Canada, it's easy to understand. That's a good thing. However, you know, here's the bad news. They didn't really have any assembly instructions in here. And this is where you turn to their video. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go step by step to the video, do the same thing. This is Sam on the video. I'll see if I can insert this video in here. Surface of four electric bike. Today I'm going to walk you through an assembly of our surface of four Colt. The assembly for the Colt is exactly the same as the assembly for the Rook. Okay, um, let me point that out. I've been calling this the Rook. It's spelled R-O-O-K. These guys from Canada, they're calling it the Rook. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm sure they're correct. I'm incorrect. We're going to move forward. I'm not going to make you watch this whole thing. I'm going to go in and skip ahead to see what I need to do. Okay, the first step we're going to do is get all this stuff off of here. Now, let me show you one thing that I noticed, and it's funny. When I assembled my first uh, Red Mini, the 2017 model, it's something I complained about. I'm sure these people didn't get the idea from me. But you notice these twist ties on here? I'll try to zoom in so you can see them. Notice they're white. On the Red, I made a comment that, all the, that the twist ties were black, and since the cables were black, you didn't want to make a mistake. See these zip ties? You see these wires? They look alike. I'm fortunate I haven't cut the wrong thing yet. Also, just check these out. You know what these are? These are seafood scissors. This way I can come around and cut them without having to scratch the bike. So let me just kind of go around and I'll go into fast forward so you don't have to watch all this. Now here's some things that were sitting loose in the bike. This is some kind of collar and rubber on here so I'm just going to put this to the side so I don't lose it. Now, in their video, they said there was one piece that I should not undo. It was a cover over here, but it looks like that's already off of there. It has to do with the handlebar assemble, assembly. So I'm going to do that last and go back and rewatch the video on that one. Now, I can't tell if these are tape marks or scratches around here. There might be some tape. We'll figure that out later. Here's your bike seat. See, this is that little piece that in the video they were telling to be very careful of. And it was supposed to have some of this wrap around here. But it appears that that did not hold up in the shipping. So we'll figure out how that goes. To be honest with you, I'd rather be buying this through a dealer who can set it up and make sure everything's working. But they don't have any dealers in my area. That's why I took a gamble and, and, and ordered online. But... Um, you know, with e-bikes these days, if I can editorialize for a minute, it seems that 
this industry is going so fast and furious that these companies are popping up. Well, Surface has been around for around five years. I believe that they started in 2013, it's 2018 now, that so many new ones are coming up and a lot of the traditional bicycle dealers have not really jumped on to the e-bike um, bandwagon yet. A lot of it has to do, they already have existing relationships and also these bike dealers, they need margin to be able to stay in business. Without the profit margin, they can't stay in business. These things being sold online, the margins are so tight that there's really not a lot left for dealers. So my editorial here, it would be nice if we could get these things. Not all of us want to assemble these things. We want to go and we want to sit on them. We want to try it first. We want to take a little test ride, just like we do on a regular bicycle from a bicycle shop. So, and, and this is not directed at Surface, it's directed at all e-bike manufacturers. It wouldn't be nice if you had a network of dealers. Okay, let's get back to the unboxing. Okay. Again, I'm a little concerned about this because this is here they were saying in the video to be very careful about this, and I'm seeing another part here. They said if it's not done properly, then because like this thing already was off here, then it could be problematic. So I'm gonna get back to the video. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I was correct. They, uh, they did not want this to be removed, and I did not see that on there. I don't think it was my mistake. And the reason is, this has got to come through here to be able to connect. This is, oops, I guess I have a little bit more to do here. That this piece right here needs to come through there so that you can attach it down to the handlebar. So let me get this off and we'll get back to it. Okay, let me get the wheel out of the way here. And let's try to figure this thing out here. Now granted, I don't have, like they have in the video, one of those bike stands. So, okay, we got this through here. And this, I guess, goes on top of here to center it. And now, okay, I guess I should stand this up. Yeah. See, in the video, they did this first before the tire. I'm almost wondering if I should put the tire on. That way I can stand it up to put this on. Let me go back to the video. Okay, as you can see in that video, he had the bike standing. I don't have a bike stand like that. So I'm, what I'm going to do, do a little bit different order, and I'm going to go on and put the axle into the wheel and get that thing ready to go. Okay, so let me make sure I got this on the correct side. You have the axle. You have two springs. The springs are cone-shaped and pointed inward. You're going to slide this through, keep the spring on. I know you probably can't see it that well. Then you're going to put the spring in on the other side. You're going to hand tighten this down. Then you have just enough play here, and then that's going to go on the axle, uh, or down here on the bike. So let me see if I can get this on while the bike is still down here on the ground. Remember, you have to thread the brake. Oops, excuse me. You have to thread the disc through the brake. I'm on the red mini. This is the hardest thing that I had to do here. But I had it standing up at least. If I can get this in on both sides. Have it loosen up just a little bit more. Again, don't be in a rush. Let me go back to the video. Goes right through, the disc goes right through the calipers, the, the brake pads, and then you'll notice how my axle fell into the opening on the fork ends. So once it's in, I know that it's in, I'm gonna support it from the bottom. I'm gonna hand tighten it, just like that. And then on the opposite side where the lever is, you know, I can, I can tighten it as follows 
and then once I feel the Okay, let's try this again. I'm not sure if I'm getting ah, getting this correctly. Had a little pinch of a finger there. You know, I'd say I could put it upside down and try it. As long as the handlebars are off there, I don't want to damage any of the electronics. Let's see how that works. Maybe that would be easier. Nope, that didn't work. Let me go get that piece. Stay. Don't fall. You're brand new. I wonder what I'm doing incorrectly here. The brake looks like it's lined up with the brake pad. There we go. Look, it went right in. Okay, so we're up. on this side, I'm tightening this down. Then I'll get it to where when it's hand tight. And I'll throw this up. Oop, I think I might have just a little bit too much. This is your quick release for your front wheel. Ugh, that's up. Now, I think we can flip this around and try to deal with these bars. Or, excuse me, with this thing here, with the uh, front wheel and securing the handlebars in there. Okay, let's put the kickstand down. Oops, we can get that chalk off the wheel. Now, I have a feeling that these parts that were not secured in here. These are going to go on here because something's not right here. And put that on here. Put this on here. I think there's one more piece. Let me check down here. Okay, but now we have this like this. I really don't tell you how this goes. And I'm making some assumptions here, which I don't like to do. Let's find out. Okay, now I'm going to need, I believe it's a five millimeter. It's either a four or five, I believe it's a five. This is my exercise for the day. Boy, that shows a lot of turns. Okay, there, now it's tight. Just hand tight. Not exactly straight, but just sit here. Kind of get it straight over the tire. And we can change this later. And this is where that little black button I showed you earlier goes. Okay, back to the video. Okay, I'm back. I'm sure you're happy to hear that. Next step is the pedals. Now remember, they're side specific. The right side will go on clockwise, the left side will go on counterclockwise. This one says L on it. So, twist that counterclockwise. I'm not having a lot of fun today. Get this hand tightened down, don't take the wrench. Okay, I don't have millimeters. I have, you know, railroad 916s. I need to get one just a little bit larger. Let me go get my other tools. You know what, to, I can probably use just my pliers for this. Let's check it out. Okay, we have the pedals on. Now back to the video. Okay, here's where we're at now. Then we're going to get the seat on. Okay, just like any other, it's just going to slide right in here. I'm going to put it all the way down here. I'm a short rider. Just put it down for now. Okay, now I'm going to get up here for the bars. Ooh, see, I like the seat height. I can get my feet down. I know some people say you're you're, you're not extended. Now, this is where you make sure your bars are straight here. Okay, so we tighten that down a little bit. Tighten this one down. So try to make it even. Okay, do this one a little bit more. And this, this is your left to right on your bars. Okay, and we'll do the one on the right side. 
Okay, the one on the left. Yeah, that's a pretty good wrench. He gets a little leverage off of it. This is a cheap one off of Amazon. I'll put a link down below. Okay, so now this is our controller. Hey, my shifter. You know one thing, and I have to tell you up front, I'm noticing that it's missing here. I won't say missing. It wasn't promised. I didn't see it on their site. But I don't see a bell. And I got to tell you, the way I ride around the neighborhood and stuff, it's nice to have a bell. Why didn't you put a bell on here? I know you got a lot of stuff going on. You have a throttle over here. You got your shifter here. If you put it here, that's something that's missing. Okay, you have your lights over here. Um, oh, there is one other thing I can do. Remember, I still have to put this stop rib. Over here, and I believe this is a five millimeter. This is cool. I'm going to loosen up here on this side. This is one thing that attracted me to the bike. Oops, I'm not sure how to do this. I hope I'm doing it right. This is an adjustable handlebar. It has some teeth in it, so I've got to get it a little bit further. Oh, no, look. See, you have a, a taller range than I was thinking. Okay, so now you can bring it up here. Now, granted, you can move all this other stuff around. Okay, I'm going to put it about right here. See how that is. Now other steps I'm not going to bore you with. They have adjustments here, so now I can adjust the brakes where I like them here. And I believe the last step that we have to do right now is over here. This is the battery. And I believe this is a Samsung battery. Now I'll put all the details uh, on GadgetGuru.com. Just, you know, click the link, go to the story, and I'll put a lot more specs and, and more things in here. Okay. Now, I know this just kind of pops in, but what's top, what's down? Okay, this appears. They said just to slide this in, and then it clicks in. Hey, that was pretty easy. And then to get it out, I think you need the key. I'm not sure. But I, I'm one of these people, I rarely take the battery out. I just charge it in the bike. And that's the next thing. Look, I still have some more deep plasticking to do. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to charge this up overnight. I'm going to clean up my workspace. Um, I'm going to tell you on the assembly. My skill level is very low. Um, I'd say it was just... Okay, I think the video needs a little bit room for improvement. I'm going to give some recommendations that, uh, to, to Sam and the folks over at Surface 604 that we don't have bike stands. You want to sell this to consumer, you want to sell this to baby boomers like us, give us an assembly video that's going to show us what we have to go to. Not that we're a bike shop and have all this equipment. So that's my only criticism now. I'm going to have to go around and check. I did see, notice some scratches when it was coming out. They seem to be minor. Okay, so here's what we're going to do now. I'm going to charge this thing up. It takes, you know, an overnight charge to do so. I believe they said 16 hours in the video. I'm going to do it exactly to manufacturer's recommendations. Now, let me note in here, I purchased the products I reviewed. Now, there's going to be a second part to this video. I know this one was long here. Hopefully, by the time I edit it, I could speed up a lot of the boring stuff out of here and only keep in the necessary items. But I'm not one of those, I don't take a product, and I've been doing this for 30 some odd years. I don't take a product and give it a first glance and then give it a review and opinion. I'm going to put some miles on this, and then I'm going to report back to you. I'm going to ride it, and I'll show you in the type of circumstances I'm riding it. This is not a fat tire bike, kind of a mid-tire, it's a 2.1 inch tire. We're going to see how this is for just around my neighborhood, and going to places, you know, that are sidewalks, just off-road just a little bit. It does have a shock absorber, and I'll give you my full uh, and honest opinion on this thing, and that's going to take a few weeks. And remember, the easiest way to keep posted of my new stories is just as simply like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash gadgetguru. Subscribe right here on YouTube. If you like this video, you're going to like one of these. I cover a bunch of things from motorhomes and sometimes drones, bicycles, you name it, recreational products. If it's something fun that you'll use, I'm probably reviewing it. That's it for now. I'm the Gadget Guru, Andy Parr.